Okay, this has been a remarkable week, weekend for Indian sport. We've had a young 18-year-old reach the World Cup chess finals. We've had Neera Chopra script history by winning gold at the World Athletics. And our 4 by 400 meter relay did the country proud by breaking the Asian Games record. And amidst all this, we also have... H.S. Pranoy winning the bronze medal at the World Badminton Championships, only the fifth Indian to achieve this incredible feat. Joining me now is H.S. Pranoy, the man who beat the world number one, Victor Axelsson of Denmark, to win a bronze at the World Championships. First of all, congratulations, Pranoy, for the remarkable you, achievement in winning a bronze. I know you'd love to win gold, but I'm sure you must be feeling very proud today. Yes, sir, definitely. I think uh, it's been uh, it's it's been a good uh, week for me, to be honest. And had uh, a lot of tough matches uh, this week, and really happy to be on that podium finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you beat two world champions to get there, and and you know in both the matches you were down a game one, and you came back to win. <laughs> Is there something about this new HS Pranoy that we don't know? You seem to be now the giant killer of world badminton. No, sir. I'm the giant myself, I guess. Now it's time to call me giant myself. But uh, I guess, uh, yes, I think uh, the draws <laughs> were not uh, that great for me uh, because running into uh, two, world champions, uh, two world champions before a semi-final is... is is always a deadly draw out there. But I think uh, I have been really playing well since last six months or, uh, or, or so and been able to uh, dig really deep uh, and play long matches. Uh, and I think that has been my strength in the last six months. So I think over here also, I think I did the same. I tried uh, to fight as much as possible and uh, that kind of fight got me those two victories out there and uh, really glad that I could I could do that. You know, uh, you're, you're 31 now. You've gone through your fair share of injuries. Is this the fittest you've been? And are you like, uh, you know, good wine, getting better with age? Are you peaking at the right time, hopefully, for next year's Olympics? Yes, sir, definitely, I think. Because... Uh, uh, as Djokovic said now, the 35 is the new 25, right? So, I think that has given a lot of uh, uh, confidence to a lot of people out there in the world saying that anything is possible uh, at any age, to be honest. And uh, and for me, personally, this 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 would be my best um, uh, pace uh, in my career. I think I've never been this consistent in the, in the world tour and uh, and been able to be in the top 10 for such a long time. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I break into that uh, uh, elite top five soon. Now, I'm sure you will because uh, you've got a coach. Uh, how much of credit do you give Saidat for what, what has happened to you, for what uh, has been done for you by Pulela Gopichan? How much credit do you give the team around you? Is this a team effort or have you had to do it all on your own? No, I think it's I think an entire team effort. Uh, nothing comes without team effort in uh, in such a sport, uh, actually. And I think Gopi Baya has been the backbone since last fourteen years for me. And uh, and I think since last two years, he has again uh, been able to train. Uh, I've been I've been able to train with him again uh, in the last two years, and you can see the difference in my in my uh, graph also where things have just gone really well in the last two years and Guru also coming in uh, to be a part of it I think have made it much easier for me to express a lot of things because uh, we have that rapport between us and so and I think the, the entire team of physios, trainers, my uh, my nutritionist, psychology, I think everybody has their own uh, share uh, in this victory and uh, I think the good thing is mm -hmm. everybody is working working together 
um, everybody knows what's happening with me on a on a, on, a, on a daily basis. I don't have to call anybody. They all are connected to each other so well, so that right. everything is taken care. And I, I think the only thing which I have to do is just train and play. So that has been the big change in the last two years. And I think the entire credit goes to the entire team out there. And I think uh, Gopi Baya especially because uh, because of the work he has been able to do in the last I don't know how many ever years. And uh, I just been able to play really well in the last two years. But 